Okay, so we are going to be talking about the uh, Obamacare Supreme Court case. I'm here joined by my mom, who will be um, having a conversation with me and asking questions. Um, so? So, front and center in the news for the past week or so has been the um, appearance of... <laughs> Turn it off. I don't want to be at it. No offense. Um, the appearance of the Attorney General or a representative of Obama's in front of the Supreme Court arguing for the Obamacare law to be upheld. What do you think about that? Well, <clears throat> my general understanding is that um, <clears throat> the Obamacare law that was passed um, a few years ago is now being um, <clears throat> challenged by attorney generals across 28 states, um, or uh, district attorneys rather, who, uh, who have found parts of the bill that are unconstitutional, which is why it's being brought in front of the Supreme Court. And um, the case was presented, and <clears throat> the attorney generals um, argue that it's unconstitutional because the government is um, for it has a uh, an individual mandate in in the bill which says that um, everyone in the country, every citizen or every person needs to buy this government run health care. Well, that's not actually what it says. What it says it? that every person must have some kind of health care, and if they don't have it through their place of employment or some other means, then they must purchase it through the government. Right. So in some way, the government is forcing the citizens to buy health care. Right. And that is without a doubt um, what the indiv individual mandate is in the bill um, to do. So that is what the attorney generals have found unconstitutional. Um, and so they brought it before the Supreme Court. And the Obama administration's um, argument against that is... Um, the Commerce Clause, which is some um, little insignificant clause that was put in the Constitution, um, you know, very, very long ago, a very long time ago, uh, which basically says that the government has the right to regulate anything that is um, considered interstate commerce, and technically, uh, healthcare is an industry that does um, involve interstate commerce, but <clears throat> the word regulate does not mean forced to buy. So um, that is uh, a very weak argument, um, but nonetheless it is what the administration is using um, in the Supreme Court. Um, so it is also my understanding that the Supreme Court justices were not very um, uh, supportive of that argument as they did mock um, the <clears throat> the attorney for the administration in the first hearing um, and they are now in the process of making that decision which hopefully um, will result in the bill no longer being law so okay so I take it that your opinion is that the law is unconstitutional as it stands my opinion is absolutely that the law is unconstitutional um, I do think that health care is an issue that needs to be um, needs to be tweaked. It needs to be changed. Um, however, this is um, probably the worst thing that can happen for our economy at this point. Um, having a new socially run health care <coughs> industry would only make it so so many more people need to pay into something that previously they didn't have to pay into for people who don't pay into the system it would be wealthier people paying for unwealth for uh, less fortunate people to have health care which is um, which is socialism and which is uh, not the way this country is fundamentally supposed to run so my opinion is that the law is absolutely unco unconstitutional and that the argument of the commerce clause is completely bogus because you can't you can't say that the word regulate, which is what's written in the Constitution, you can't say that that means what they're making it out to mean here. So, if it does pass, 
how does that fundamentally change the relationship between citizen and government? It fundamentally changes that relationship because now the government is forcing its citizens who do not previously own health care or um, have health care, it is forcing them to buy something from them. That's like saying, um, that's like you forcing me, you as a parent who is kind of like a government, so to speak, is forcing me to buy something that you made. Say you, you make, I don't know, you made me a card. You're, you're forcing me to buy that now. Like that, that now our mother son relationship is very strange and it's much different because I wouldn't have to buy that from you. It's more I, if I want to support you, I can buy, I can give you some money or whatever, or I can go find that other, I can go find that card, um, of much higher quality somewhere else and pay for some, pay for whoever I want. I can pay anyone else. So I should have the choice to buy what I want to buy and the government should not make me pay for anything that I want to pay for. And that's it.